Good morning. You're watching the morning news here at CNN News 18. My name is Toya Singh. It's a Monday morning. It's the start of the week. And we're starting the day with some breaking news coming into us right now from Delhi. Let's move very quickly. We've brought you news over the last two days of the prominent Aam Aadmi Party MLA Amanatullah Khan being arrested. More developments over there as over on Saturday, you might remember, his aide, Hamid Ali, a key aide of his, was arrested and an unlicensed, spy, uh, an unlicensed pistol, bullets and 12 lakhs in cash were found at his residence. But now another video of that very same recovery process from Hamid Ali's residence has gone viral in which, in that video, you can see uh, that the ACB officers can be seen unloading the pistol, a Beretta pistol, and as we already told you, 12 lakhs of cash were recovered from his house. Now, ACB officers say that they got a total of six checkbooks from his house. He was arrested later. My colleague Akash is with us right now to bring us more details on this entire story this morning. Akash, good morning. Akash, uh, for our audiences, if you could very clearly lay out uh, first in a quick timeline what's taken place in the Amanatullah Khan case. Obviously, we also saw action with uh, another key aide of his. So if you could just lay out for us the developments that have taken place since. Uh, so good morning, Toya, first of all. And uh, secondly, uh, talking about this particular case, so we know that on Thursday a notice was issued uh, for Amatullah Khan and he was asked to join investigation in this case that was registered in 2020. He joined the investigation uh, on Friday, but simultaneously ACB officers raided some of the prominent locations and Hamid Ali's residence was one of it. This video has emerged as one of the crucial video now and is going viral as you rightly mentioned and in this video we can see a lot of cash uh, in the bedroom and also the Beretta pistol which is a uh, you know which is a semi-automatic pistol and is an imported pistol. Now Hamid Ali is under arrest we know that ha Amatullah Khan was arrested on the very same day but in this case three separate FIRs have already been registered by Delhi police and police is investigating this case on the on the line of money trail because uh, you know one of the uh, aid of Amatullah Khan Ladan is still absconding and police is trying to arrest him and he is one of the crucial person, crucial link in this particular case. Amatullah Khan has been sent in police uh, remand for four days and he he is under arrest as of now and he is being investigated in the same case. But as of now, this video belongs to Hamid Ali's residence on the, and it is of the very same day where ACB officers raided his house and you know, uh, other than 12 lakh rupees in this Beretta Six checkbooks, six checkbooks were found and Amadullah Khan's name was very much there on those checkbooks. This is what we have learned lately. So as of now, Hamid Ali is being cautioned on that basis. And in fact, Amadullah Khan is being cautioned on these, uh, you know, on these things, specifically the uh, cash and the Beretta pistol as well. So yeah. Akash, can you very clearly lay out for our audiences uh, now the details of the case that uh, the police is trying to make against Amanatullah Khan? Our audiences already know that this is a case related to the alleged misappropriation of Delhi Wakf Board funds during his tenure as chairman. But that's a very brief outline. Could you give us more details of the case itself? Right. Uh, so, you know, this case was registered in uh, January 2020, Toya, and the uh, basic allegation, the, the uh, line of allegations were that Amatullah Khan basically misused the position as chairman of Wakf board and also he misused the funds. So this was the basic line of allegation. But on Friday, when these residences were raided, so ACB officers got some crucial documents. In fact, you know, I, just a few minutes back, I was mentioning about Ladan. So this man, Ladan's house was raided as well. And officers have got two important diaries. Now talking about these diaries, so these diaries have some questionable cash entries. In fact, these, uh, these uh, cash entries have links to states like Telangana, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, and Uttarakhand and Gujarat as well. That's the reason why while Amatullah Khan was produced in a court Saturday, so it was very much mentioned that ACB officers now want to investigate this case deeper. And that's the reason why 
you know the focus has been shifted from simple corruption case to money trail in fact and we are learning that acb officers now have broadened their investigation and we can expect that now they'll be taking amanullah khan to some other states as well because now it is learned that you know this case has some sort of links of uh, in other states and not only in other states but that particular diary has mention of dubai so you know the, the officers are not now not only investigating the uh, uh, the basic allegations that were made in the primary uh, uh, complaint in 2020 but they have broadened the investigation as well okay Akash, thank you for bringing us those details. For our audiences, that was my colleague Akash. Next, what I want to play out for you is the back and forth you've seen between the Aam Aadmi Party. So we'll play out for you what the Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has to say, and we'll also play out for you how the BJP spokesperson Sambit Patra has responded. Take a look. कुछ नहीं मिला माने तो लगे हैं। उसके सहयोगी के यहाँ फलाना मिला ढिमका मिला ये मिला उसका सहयोगी सारे टीवी चैनलों में जा जाके कह रहा है जी जो भी मिला मेरा है और उसके यहां भी कुछ नहीं मिला से अब उसका इन्होंने डिंडोरा पीट दिया तो अब मेरे को ये पता चला है इनका ऑपरेशन लोटस तो फेल हो गया अब इन्होंने ऑपरेशन लोटस फेज टू शुरू किया है कल से एम के पास फोन आने चालू हो गए या तो तुम हमारे साथ आ जाओ नहीं तो तुम्हारा भी वही हाल करेंगे जो अमानतुल्ला का किया था धमकियां दे रहे हैं लगता है कि इंडियन जुडिशरी से बड़ा केजरीवाल जी का सर्टिफिकेट है कोई इंडियन जुडिशरी की सर्टिफिकेट की आवश्यकता नहीं है अगर केजरीवाल जी कह दें कि फलाना आदमी ऑनेस्ट है तो वो ऑनेस्ट है अगर वो कह दें कि ये सारे लोग भ्रष्ट हैं तो वही भ्रष्ट है ये सबसे बड़े केजरीवाल जी का सर्टिफिकेट कराई थी अमानतुल्ला साहब के खिलाफ क्या वो कंप्लेन थी और कब आपने दर्ज कराई डिटेल्स बताइए उसके बारे में देखिए ये तो कई साल पहले की बात हो गई है जब कंप्लेंट कराई थी फिर लगभग 2020 के अंदर ये एफआईआर लॉन्च हुई है और उसके अंदर हमारी कंप्लेंट सिर्फ ये थी कि दिल्ली वक्त बोर्ड में जो काम हो रहा है ना वो लीगल काम नहीं हो रहा है लीगल तरीके से काम हो रहा है और दिल्ली वक्त बोर्ड जो है एक मालिकाना हकूक के साथ तो चल रहा है दिल्ली वक्त बोर्ड का जो एक्ट है उसके तहत काम नहीं कर रहा दिल्ली वक्त बोर्ड अपने एक्ट से भटक चुका है और ऐसा वहाँ पर मामला हो गया कि वहाँ पर एक मालिक हो गया है एक ख़ानदान मालिक हो गया है और वो वही ख़ानदान उसको लेकर चल रहा है और दिल्ली वक्त बोर्ड में जितना स्टाफ है वो इतना स्टाफ डरा हुआ है कि अगर वो स्टाफ अगर जरा सा भी उनकी मुखालिफ में बात करता है तो शाम को उसको छुट्टी कर दी जाती है एंड दिस इज आर टॉप स्टोरी सो वी वन मोर पीस फॉर यू माई कॉलीग पलवी घोष येस्टरडे इवनिंग हेल्ड ए डिबेट विद ग्रुप ऑफ पैनलिस्ट यू हैड स्पोक्स पीपल फ्रॉम एवरी एस्पेक्ट ऑफ दिस इंटायर स्टोरी टेक अ लुक एट वॉट दे से Aam Aadmi Party's claim is Operation Lotus once again. Since that failed, you are going to misuse the agencies to attack the Aam because you are scared of Gujarat. First of all, let me tell you, Aap today stands for not Aam Aadmi Party but or adhik propaganda, and this is actually Aam Aadmi Party's Operation Lotus. Now, let me tell you the kind of lies Arvind Kejriwal spins and says every day. He said that Mr. Satyendra Jain's house also didn't get anything. He is a cutter, a mandar. There are three court orders that I have against Satyendra Jain, who is in jail for the last four months. Here is the High Court order saying that he has an apradik prashtabhumi. Here is the High Court order saying that he was doing hawala bazi, and here is the Trial Court order saying that prima facie the charges made in the ED charge sheet are correct, and therefore trial should go on. Against him and prima facie cognizance should be taken. He said that there is no proof. Then why is it that his two MLAs were convicted, Mr. Sanjeev Jha and Akhilesh Pati Tripathi, for inciting violence against the police? Nisha Singh is in jail. Tahir Hussain, whom they said is being targeted because he is a Muslim, is still in jail under UAP and other charges. You have the you have Geeta Rawat, who is still in jail for corruption. You have had Jitain the Tomar and Sandeep Kumar, who were removed by Mr. Arvind Kejriwal from their positions, but not from the party. So are all of these charges fake, or is the court also vindictive? Is the court also targeting? Let's assume the CBI ED are targeting. Why is Mr. Satyendra Jain still in jail, and why are they calling them cutter imandar? There is a uh, there is a chief secretary report against Mr. Manish Sisodia about his ghotala and sharab. They won't answer any questions on that. They won't send their spokespersons on television channels, despite the television channel inviting them. There is a CVC inquiry report against the corruption in the classroom ghotala, where they showed toilets as uh, as classrooms. And now there is the latest scam of Wakf Board. Now Wakf Board also let me tell you that there are uh, they said that Mr. Kausar Imam Siddiqui has is a sayogi. 
Gandhi of Aam Aadmi Party or, or of Amantullah Khan. He has nothing to do with the party. That's also false. Here is the joining letter of Kausar Imam Siddiqui. It was shown by your channel and other channels. He is a ward president. He is a member of the Aam Aadmi Party, which has got 12 lakh rupees cash and Beretta gun. Mili hai. Why are they answering these questions? Amanatullah Khan has been remanded to custody, not by the ACB, but by the court on the basis of what the ACB put forward. And the work boat scam involves 33 people being denied opportunity to serve there. And he gave those jobs to his bhai bhatijas. And in fact, there are two people, whistleblowers, who came on record. Their names are Shamim Akhtar and Abid, who have said how he was trying to pressurize them, how he was taking away the files. There is tons of evidence. We need to understand the vendetta here, the vendetta of the Bharatiya Janata Party. What is it? CBI, ED, IT today are not just uh, uh, caged parrots, but anacondas and pythons out there to opposition leaders. But nothing happens to be their own, like the Janardhan Reddy brothers from my state of Karnataka, or even Himanta Biswas Sarma. Knock, knock, where are you, CBI? What is the update? Case update on him? Nothing. Now let's come in straight to the point. Where was my, why was my friend conspicuous of his absence during Bilkis Banu? He blames up not representing where were you in the Nupur Sharma controversy. So therefore, sir, it is not as per your convenience, but party orders. Now coming straight to the point of, he mentioned about Satyendra Jain. Sir, are you aware of the court update on Satyendra Jain? Court has time and again, someday the investigation officer to, uh, to present our hardcore evidence, which the investigating office has not been able to. You read in Manish Sisodia ji, what did you get? Baba Ji Tatullu. Nothing, nothing at his house, nothing at uh, the locker. The fact of the matter, what happened in the CBI charge sheet? Do we see, is there an establishment of quid pro quo? Mm. No. Where is the uh, establishment of the money trail? No. Arope, Arope. My good friend Sejat reminds me of Sunny Diol of this movie. Arope, 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 Arope. My lord, sabood dikhaiye, janab, sabood dikhaiye. Final point uh, we need to understand. Yeah, many of my BJP friends are tweeting time and again, FIR on Amanatullah Khan. Why the FIR? Because he was found to be in possession of pistols and cartridges and all of that. It is not Amanatullah Khan, sir. If it is so, present me the FIR copy naming Amanatullah Khan. The fact of the matter here is... Uh, 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 Pallavi ji, that today the BJP itself has lost faith in CBI, uh, EDIT because they do their own BBI, Bhajpa, Bharatiya investigation team, where they have their own camera, own judge, own jury, own reporter, and they do this uh, uh, floozy, inc uh, no credibility, uh, 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 these uh, team operations. All right, so that's going to be our top story through the day today. We're going to move on very quickly, though, now to more developments taking place right here in the capital. The Delhi police has issued fresh summons to actor Jacqueline Fernandez in connection with the Sukesh Chandrasekhar money laundering case. Uh, Jacqueline is slated to appear before the Economic Offences Wing for questioning at 11 a.m. This is the second time that Fernandez is being quizzed. Last week, she was questioned for over eight hours. Along with her, her costume designer will also be confronted by the EOW as well. It's been alleged that the costume designer played the role of a middleman on multiple occasions. The ED has filed a charge sheet against Fernandez on August 17th. Remember, Sukesh Chandrasekhar, who you can see with Fernandez on your screens right now, on the right side of your screens. Chandrasekhar is an alleged conman. He is currently in jail for a 215 crore rupee extortion case. He's been accused of cheating various people, including high-profile individuals such as the former Fortis healthcare promoter Shivinder Mohan Singh's wife, Aditi Singh. We'll have reporters on the ground bringing you updates on that story. Very quickly, though, now we're moving from up in the capital, down south to Karnataka, where, as you might remember, the Congress is currently in the process of holding their Bharat Joro Yatra. They started, as you might remember, down in Kanyakumari. They're making their way up north to Kashmir. It's being led by Rahul Gandhi. He's uh, followed by about a thousand Congress workers and local groups are joining in every party. Now, Karnataka Congress Chief D.K. Shiv Kumar is at the same time as all of these developments are taking place. He is slated to visit the Enforcement Directorate Office in Delhi today. You can see him in the center of your screens right now. He was summoned by the agency. This is in connection with a money laundering case. But Shiv Kumar has alleged that he's being harassed by the ED. He's questioned the timing of the summons, not just because the Bharat Joro Yatra is going on, but also because his summons coincide with the session of the Karnataka Legislative Assembly. It started a few days ago also. At the same time, you have the former Karnataka Chief Minister, uh, Siddha Ramaya, from the same party. He's accusing the centre of disrupting the Congress's yatra by misusing central agencies. So he's repeating a claim that you've had a number of opposition parties make. As we've already told you, the yatra is going to be entering Karnataka in just a few days from now, in about 11 days from now, 
on September 30th. Okay, we're moving now from all of the stories we've told you already to big developments that took place over the weekend at Chandigarh University in Punjab. Wide-scale protests took place. Hundreds of students gathered in Chandigarh University. This is over leaked, objectionable videos. Two people have so far been arrested. One is the key accused. She's a female student who allegedly took the videos. And the other is allegedly her boyfriend who's residing in Shimla. He was arrested by the Himachal Pradesh police yesterday. The man has been identified as a 23-year-old. You've had the Himachal Pradesh Chief Minister, Jai Ram Thakur. He said that they are in touch with the Punjab police and they will fully cooperate with the investigation. But remember, there are still multiple versions of exactly what took place. On one side, obviously, there are allegations that this female student filmed other students while they were bathing. On the other side, there are multiple other versions of the story. One, for example, claims that the girl was only recording herself as she was going to send the video to her boyfriend. So as we've just said, there are multiple unconfirmed versions. There's also, as you might remember, controversy over whether or not suicides took place with the school authorities coming forward and saying no suicides took place since the incident. I want to very quickly take you to how the Himachal Pradesh chief ministers responded because that is the most recent response this story had. Take a look at what Jairam Thakur had to say. देखिए उसमें उस सिलसिले में मुझे पुलिस डिपार्टमेंट के अधिकारियों से बातचीत मेरी हुई है मैंने कहा कि उसमें पूरी कोऑपरेशन करिए पंजाब पुलिस को जो भी दोषी है जो सूचना के मुताबिक जो जानकारी मिली है उसके मुताबिक ये मालूम पड़ा कि हिमाचल प्रदेश से संबंधित वो लड़का है जिसने उसको वायरल किया है उसके खिलाफ कानूनी कार्रवाई करेंगे और पूरी हम पंजाब सरकार को उसमें पूरा कॉपरेशन देंगे निश्चित रूप से क्योंकि गलत काम किया है तो सजा मिलनी चाहिए पुलिस इन्वेस्टिगेट कर रही है यहाँ आज डिप्टी कमिश्नर और आईजी पुलिस डीआईजी और एसएसपी साहब सभी ने विजिट किया है और वो बच्चों से भी मिल रहे हैं तो इनकी पूरी तय तक जाया जाएगा लेकिन उसके खिलाफ एफ के बाद उस लड़की को जिसके बारे में ये कहा गया और जिसने वीडियो भेजा भी है उसके खिलाफ एफ करके उसको हिरासत में ले लिया गया है तो मैं विश्वास दिलाना चाहता हूँ कि चंडीगढ़ यूनिवर्सिटी ने खुद वॉलेंटियर किया है कि इसकी पुलिस इन्वेस्टिगेशन की जाए साइबर क्राइम द्वारा साइबर आईटी एक्ट के अधीन इस पर एफ हुई है और साइबर क्राइम सेल जो है इसकी पूरी तय तक पहुंचेगा सू प्रिलिमरी तौर पर इन्वेस्टिगेशन गल पता लगी है कि कोई लेडी स्टूड गर्ल स्टूडेंट जी सी उन्हें कोई जी वीडियो बनाई सी अपनी और वार्डन के जी कम्यूनीकेशन गैप के थोड़ी गल इस तरह की फ्लेयरअप होगी कि प्रॉब्ली दूसर की भी हुई है जो ये प्रिलिमरी गल मैं तुम्हें तो दस रहा इन्वैसिगेशन के सारी गल क्लीयर होएगी जो एस एस पी साहब ने मैं वर्षन दसिया हूँ इन्होंने काफ़ी डीपली इन्वैसिगेट किए इस रजिस्टर किया जा चुक है और कोई भी जरा दोषी है जो कोई पाया जाता है विल नॉट बी स्पेयर चाहे किसी तरह का भी कोई गल हो That's also a story we're keenly tracking through the day to day right now. It's time for a short break, and as we let you go into the break, a quick message for you: you can get a Money Control Pro subscription at net zero cost by claiming exciting offers worth one thousand five hundred rupees from our partner brands. Grab these benefits now only on the Money Control app or website. It's time for a short break. We'll see you on the other side.